my first surgery was a disaster and Linda Klein, our uh, medical producer, she was just ye yelling at me and, oh, you're holding this wrong, you're doing that wrong. And so, I mean, in the moment I was like freaking out, but uh, later it just became a story we would laugh about. But yeah, my first surgery it was cool to just actually be in the OR with the other doctors and uh, it was a very real moment. I was like, oh my God, I'm really here, I'm really doing this, you know what I mean? And. Uh, uh, and yeah, I mean, we work with, I mean, it's a dramatic show, but we have so many funny people on this show. We laugh so much uh, in between takes and, you know, and we really relish in the comedy stuff when we can be funny and make people laugh because there's so many funny souls around here. So uh, I love those moments we get to play and have fun. Last year, I got to be directed by Denzel Washington, which is uh, easily a mile, career milestone for me. Um, it's incredible. I, I never thought that that was that Grey's Anatomy was the job that was going to get me to work with Denzel Washington. You know what I mean? As it's so uh, centered around uh, film and cinema, not television. So, uh, so that was really cool. And uh, I got to, uh, you know, Jason George and I got to go into an open heart surgery uh, my first year to observe surgeons, and uh, I learned a lot. It was an amazing experience. I got to witness something that very few people get to, unless you're a surgeon. Um, so that was, yeah, I felt really privileged to have that access to, to really witness that and to have an even deeper respect for these surgeons and what they do. I get, you know, um, uh, messages and texts and, um, Instagram messages of, of, um, you know, young, young people saying, you know, this show made me want to become a doctor. I'm in med school. I'm pursuing because of something you said or because of something one of the other characters said or did or episode that was, you know, made me want to do this specialty. And it's so amazing that someone who is not a doctor at all can inspire someone to do that. And so, uh, very cool. For the people who've been watching from the beginning, I can relate to from, you know, shows that I've watched as well, that you, when there's really good writing and uh, very strong attention to character development, you really get attached to these characters and what happens to them and whether they live or die. And they're invested, these, these fans are invested. And so, I mean, it's, it's very hard to look away from sort of the unfolding of these people's lives who they've spent so much time with. They, you know, I feel like you know these people and you know, when you've been watching them for 13 years in a row. Uh, another reason I think, you know, we, we have a very strong, independent female cast of badass women. And I think that's really encouraging to young women today who are watching um, the show to see so many um, independent, really successful women who are saving lives. And uh, I think that's inspiring. I feel like I can't really take any credit at all. I, I just, I'm the newcomer, you know, this is my third season, full season. And uh, so I, I get to be, re I'm really excited to be included in this 300 milestone that, you know, a lot of the, we still have some, a lot of original actors from the, from the pilot, as you know. And uh, so it, it's, it's really moving to see their journey and to sort of have witnessed their journey, even just in my short stay here. Um, arriving to this point and, and going back and seeing the old episodes and how far they've come. Not just the actors, but the writers, the producers, and Shonda. So um, it was a very emotional uh, table read that we had this week reading the episode because it was just, it made everyone very aware of the time that's passed and uh, how much has been accomplished by everybody since. Maybe because it's still relatively fresh, but um, I absolutely loved working with Latonya Richardson Jackson and the Maggie's Mom storyline. She was so much fun to be around, so funny, so like just the best storyteller, has seen it all <laughs> and um, is so loving. I, I just, I, and then, and that really came through as Maggie's mom, you know, just a great, big hearted, kind, hilarious, warm, um, woman, I love those moments. I just think it speaks volumes about the power of art, you know, and how um, it really can be used as a tool to uh, teach and heal and nurture people. And if if we if what we're doing is nurturing people into service professions, then you know, I, I'm I'm sure it's not the only thing that's pushing them along in that direction, but um, if we're the thing that tip, tips them over the edge and, and creates 
a scientist who's going to find a cure for something or a doctor who finds a new solution, then it's like, that's, that's why we do this. You know, that's what, um, we have a really, really great time, but we're aware of the impact that we have. And it's, it's really, it's a thrill. It's, I feel very proud of that and very humbled, um, by the actual doctors and not just <laughs> the pretend doctors who do the, the work out there. There's a lot to this show. I think the show has all of the right stuff to keep people, keep the audience coming back. Um, I, you know, I, it, it's funny for one thing, you know, and, and it's funny in the context of situations that feel close to people's real lives and they can really, really relate to. Um, the characters are so rich and, and well drawn and they show, they reflect, um, a range of human experiences that that our audience can relate to and if the, if even if they can't relate to it's portrayed in a way that they can understand where these characters are coming from and I think that people like to have their empathy triggered and um and uh, and people like to learn and people like the music on the show and people uh people you know, there's some good looking people. It's, it's got all the right stuff. So um, we, we're uh, somehow, we've somehow, Shonda managed to cook up this thing with all of the right ingredients and, and I'm trying to keep it going. It's like an homage to the whole show. It, um, it calls on the themes and the imagery of, of all 14 seasons of the show. There's, there's, references to these character the characters who are still on the show to their pasts in a way that's really touching what it means to me to be on um Grey's a show with such a storied television history it comes at me in waves from time to time sometimes I don't realize sometimes you see it in the eyes of a guest star who's like completely awed seeing the walls of the hospital you know um because they've been watching the show forever and you're like oh yeah the show's been on and people have been with us for such a long time and and sometimes it's in the eyes of my castmates you know who have been holding it down for 14 seasons and and doing the work of telling the stories to uh, to bring people back and and then you know sometimes it's in the really great storylines that I get that I'm like oh my god this is why I'm so grateful for this job this is the kind of um this is how I want to reach people. This is how I want to um, teach people. This is how I want to um, use my my skills and my talent and my art to 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 do the good work. And so so yeah, that's what we're, that's what it means. It means a lot of things.